A doctor is about to perform a surgery. He positions the lamp over the patient and… wait, what? His hand doesn't cast a shadow. And it shouldn't, because even one little dark spot could ruin a life-saving operation. This magic happens thanks to a large number of light bulbs. Each LED shines on the patient from a different angle, creating overlapping patterns. A sensor detects any obstacles and compensates for shadows by dimming some LEDs and increasing the output of the others. Harry Potter's invisibility cloak is now a reality. Well, sort of. Meet Metamaterial, a futuristic fishnet that can make things invisible by manipulating electromagnetic waves. What happens is that when light hits an object, it either gets absorbed or bounces back. Either way, it makes the object visible. But with metamaterial, instead of absorbing or reflecting light, it bends it around objects, making them invisible to the unaided eye. The bad news is that, for now, it only works with specific wavelengths of light, like radio waves. So this invisibility cloak doesn't work with visible light, the things we can actually see just yet. In Sweden, two women managed to create an invisible bike helmet. Well, okay, maybe not that invisible since you have to wear this thing around your neck for it to work. This neck piece has a sensor with a special algorithm that can distinguish between regular biking and a crash. So, if a cyclist is wearing this and gets into an accident, the sensor automatically activates and inflates the neck piece with cold helium gas, instantly deploying the helmet that looks like a head airbag. And if you're worried about the helmet tearing after hitting the ground, don't be. It's made of super strong nylon fabric designed to handle pretty much any strong impact. Well, it seems we're not quite masters of invisibility yet, but transparency is a different story. Back in the 90s, a botanist in Germany managed to create a see-through wood. This invention was almost forgotten for decades, but recently, a group of researchers upgraded the material to make it tougher than glass. Regular wood is like a bundle of tiny straws held together by a natural glue called lignin, which gives it strength and color. To make wood transparent, scientists remove or bleach lignin, leaving a white, skeleton-like structure. Then, they fill these cells with a clear substance like epoxy resin, making the wood see-through. But don't worry, you won't be walking into forests full of invisible trees anytime soon. The idea is to use this technology to create things that need to be tough, like windows and smartphone screens. Seeing things that aren't really there, like holograms, is seriously bizarre. This technology is basically like watching 3D images of real objects, but without the need to put on those old-school 3D glasses. To create a hologram of a flower, for example, you start by pointing a laser at a special mirror. This process will split the laser beam into two parts. One part bounces off another mirror, illuminates the flower, and then hits a photographic plate. The other part of the beam bounces off a different mirror and goes straight onto the same photographic plate. When these two beams come together, they make a 3D picture of the flower. So basically, a hologram is an optical illusion of epic proportion. Levitation is probably the greatest magic trick of all time. While magicians typically use optical illusions to make things appear to rise and hover in the air, science can actually achieve it in the real world. A process known as quantum levitation allows materials known as superconductors to float above magnets. You see, these materials naturally repel magnetic fields, but some allow a few magnetic lines to pass through. This creates tiny vortices where magnetic flux can pass, helping the superconductor remain suspended kind of locked in the middle of the magnetic field, defying gravity. Last year, outfits that changed colors and patterns right before our eyes went viral. This incredible fashion trick was achieved using photochromic materials. When this type of fabric is exposed to sunlight, UV radiation causes electrons to transfer between different states, which alter their optical and electrical properties. In simple words, they change colors. Since natural sunlight intensity varies all the time, the colors of the outfits also shift constantly. Unfortunately, the effect only lasts for about three minutes. 
Sure, you might wear something that changes colors, but would you eat it? I'm not talking about a banana ripening from green to yellow. I'm talking about Chameleon, an ice cream made in a lab that tastes like Tutti Frutti and has a superpower. It changes color in your mouth. This treat shifts from lavender blue to pink upon touching your tongue. Although the physicist who invented it is pretty secretive about the recipe, we do know that the magic comes from how the treat reacts to changes in temperature and acids in your mouth. Oh, and the inventor also mentioned you can spray something he calls love elixir onto the ice cream to speed up the reaction. Science has advanced to the point where we can actually make it rain and snow. This technique is called cloud seeding. And although it might seem like an X-Men superpower, it is pretty easy to understand how it works. First, the weather needs to be cloudy. Once a cloud forms, workers at a control center send a plane to the area to stimulate rainfall. As soon as the brave pilot enters the cloud, the plane releases tiny particles, such as silver iodide, into the air. These particles help water droplets form and grow, which produces rain. Sounds simple, right? But playing storm is pricey. An average 4-hour operation that seeds 24-hour clouds would cost around $5,000. If the storm gets too loud, just grab your noise-canceling headphones for some quiet time. These magical gadgets work by listening to the noises around you. Then their built-in microphones create sound waves that are the opposite. When these opposite sound waves mix with the noise, they cancel each other out, making everything quieter and clearer. Concrete often has a problem. It cracks, which makes it less durable, and that's not good. So the smart move is to go for self-healing concrete. This magical material has tiny capsules or nanotubes inside that are filled with healing agents like calcium carbonate. When a crack forms and hits these capsules, they burst open from pressure or moisture exposure. This releases the healing agent into the crack, where it mixes with things in the air like water or carbon dioxide to toughen up the concrete again. If you're planning to build a house, you should consider using a 3D printer. I know it might sound crazy, but nowadays it's completely possible to print an entire 500 square foot house in just 24 hours. It kind of works the same way as a regular 3D printer. First, you design the house plans on a computer. Then you send it to print. That's when colossal robotic arms come into play laying down layers and layers of a special concrete mixture that harden as they go. Magic sand may look like an innocent toy, but it defies logic. I mean, it is sand that remains dry even underwater. But here's how it works. The sand is coated with a hydrophobic compound, which causes the grains to stick together and form cylinders when submerged in water. So if you put the sand in an aquarium, for instance, this compound will create an air pocket around the sand, keeping it completely dry. Talking about toys, did you have a boomerang when you were young? It is pretty fascinating how it always comes back into your hand. The trick behind it lies in its L shape. A boomerang is designed with two or more wings positioned in a special way so that when it spins, it generates unbalanced aerodynamic forces that curve its path into an ellipse, allowing it to return to the spot from which it was thrown. Of course, this only works when it's thrown correctly, so maybe it's better to avoid using it altogether, especially inside your house. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.